the jealous housewife. In a small town nestled within the lush forest of southwestern Nigeria, where the palm trees swayed lazily in the breeze and the air was thick with the scent of ripe mangoes, lived Kemi, a beautiful Yoruba woman known for her striking looks and her fierce love for her husband, Akin. The couple had been married for five years, and though their life together was filled with laughter and joy, Kemi harbored a deep, unspoken fear, she was afraid of losing Akin. Kemi had always been possessive, but her jealousy grew stronger after the birth of their first child, a bright-eyed boy named Tund. She had heard too many stories of men who strayed after their wives had children, and the thought gnawed at her, day and night. Kemi knew Akin was faithful, but every time she saw him chatting with another woman, even if it was just a neighbor or a vendor at the market, her heart would race, and her mind would fill with doubts. One afternoon, as the sun cast long shadows over their modest bungalow, Kemi stood by the window, watching Akin from behind the curtain. He was outside, laughing with Yatan, the young widow who had recently moved into the house next door. Kemi felt a pang of jealousy twist in her stomach. Yatan was beautiful, with smooth, dark skin and a smile that could light up the darkest room. She was also always around, borrowing this or that, her laughter echoing through the compound. Kemi clenched her fists. What was so funny? What was Akin saying to her that he couldn't say to his own wife? That evening, Kemi prepared Akin's favorite dish, pounded yam with igusi soup, hoping to remind him of her work. As they sat down to eat, Kemi couldn't contain her suspicions any longer. Akin, she began, trying to keep her voice steady, you seem to enjoy talking to your tongue a lot. What do you two always discuss? Akin looked up, surprised by the question. Kemi, Yatand is just a neighbor. We talk about everyday things, nothing more. But you laugh with her in a way you don't with me, Kemi pressed, her voice trembling. Do you find her more interesting than me? Akin reached across the table and took her hand. Kemi, you are my wife, the mother of my child. There is no one more important to me than you. Yatand has been through a lot. I'm just trying to be a good neighbor. Kemi's eyes filled with tears, and she looked away, ashamed of her unfounded jealousy. She knew Akin was telling the truth, but the fear of losing him had clouded her judgment. She had to trust him, their marriage depended on it. From that day on, Kemi made an effort to quell her jealousy. She spent more time with Akin, joining him in conversations with neighbors, and even struck up a friendship with Yatan. Slowly, the tight knot of fear in her chest began to loosen. Kemi realized that love was not about possession but trust, and in trusting Akin, she found the peace she had been searching for.